Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Springfield, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. That is a 12 by 16 inch size canvas. And I just lost a video, so my inclination is to do another one in similar colors because it was so much fun. I may not use the basting brush this time, which is what I did last time. I am going to put a layer of pillow paint down. This is going to be a bloom. I don't think I'm going to do it in any conventional way, but you never know. I could suddenly change my mind and become a different person. <laughs> yeah, that's going to happen. I'm going to try my hardest not to drag little strings across. I don't know how little pillow paint you can get away with, but I'm very interested in finding out. And I didn't notice that this red selled, but it is the correct recipe, which is um, a quarter poly whatever and three quarters untinted, in my case, accent base. I think it's supposed to be deep base number three, but uh, that doesn't seem to be what worked out. So this is my cell activator and it's made from golden fluids. And instead of going whole hog and adding more now, I'm going to try and restrain myself. Although there is always, <laughs> there's always a new color I might want. And then I can use the other cell activator that I love. Now swiping works really well for me and this is not that. I don't know, maybe I will swipe if it doesn't work. Seems to be working a whole lot better than my last attempt. It's not very floral. I'm not trying for that. It looks like I might even be blowing a little too hard into this, but um, I like what I see. I've got some white cell activator, which I could very easily enjoy using a couple of places. To see what happens. Usually black and white will always, always sell, but I suspect that um, I'll probably lose that over an end anyway. So there's all kinds of other colors I could add to this, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and attempt to restrain myself. I'm going to bring my box of pour off and see how far I can get with what I've got. Turn that around the right way. Yep, I'm still getting cells. Cool. And I love the Golden Fluid Cell Activator. And it's the same as every other activator. It's just made with Golden Fluid Magenta. No, I don't want you any bugs in here. I came out the other morning. There we go. I came out the other morning and there were like six bugs in my painting. I gotta be careful how to lift anything across. Hey, I'm all done. That's cool. I'm good. Now I used an edge catcher last time. And I'm going to see how far I can get without doing so. I like the shapes I've got. I don't want to see them go. But I got a feeling this might be really cool. Sometimes the last painting of the day is the coolest. We'll see. Hopeful. If it's, if it's half as cool as it was to begin with, I'll be pretty happy. Now you can tell that I'm loath to pour anything away because I like all my colors and I don't really want to do that. But I got a feeling that this is going to be some awesome negative space. If I can manage to keep what I've got, which is kind of exciting right now. And I'm going to do what I've been doing. 
which is instead of pouring off the paint, I'm going to let it go down and then flow it back again. I'm going to use the rest of that paint right there to cover the rest of that side. And I can continue even to the point of using that paint again. And so long as it hits that side, I can send it back on. I can also take that other paint and lift it down. Lift it? <laughs> send it down. And back. This is working. I'm pretty stoked about this, actually. Let's see if I can continue. Ah, well, I left myself a corner to hang on to, and that's kind of a good thing. I don't actually want to give up any of the black. I don't want to give up much of anything. That's why I, I shortchanged myself on pillow paint. I'm just going to let it all go right back where it's supposed to be. And then down. I think I'm going to take that paint and wish I had a better handhold on this end. This is trepidatious at best. I have to put a thumbnail in there whether I like it or not. I'm going to make a mess. Oh no! I'm going to lose some paint too. I might be tempted to fill in that other spot. But I am just going to keep squeezing that back on. And as I pull it away, it leaves a skin down the edge. Now maybe I should do what I've been doing for myself and grab a Prince, excuse me, grab an OXO omelet turning spatula and all of that paint right there. And let it slide slowly off. I can't have what's on the blade, I don't think, but I might try anyway. Yep, I'm a paint saver, <laughs> and I'm also covered in paint. So what I'm going to do, basically, is throw my edge catcher in the bucket, because I'm not going to use it again, and I'm going to grab the paint. And fill in those spots. Which is a perfect time to explain to you guys, if you shop the Amazon link at no added cost to you, you will find the Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas there. One of which I'm about to grab and use. Probably the number two. So I really don't want to change much of anything about this. I just want to fill in my blank canvas and call it good. Except for that one little spot. You can often push paint pretty simply right up to what you want to not interfere with and it will work. So I'm pretty stoked about this. This is um, the Bloom recipe method that you can find under the video and it's uh, my using an edge catcher and I'm really really super stoked about my result. I'm very very happy with my uh, extremely abstract design. It's more floral than I thought it was for sure. I am going to torch, which is not advised, but uh, I don't seem to have a problem. And I love this. I am completely smitten. Now if I didn't torch, I probably wouldn't get all those little cells, but I really like those little cells. I've got beautiful lacing all kinds of places. <coughs> Excuse the frog in my throat. The only thing I think I might change at all is to add a trail over here. So I'm going to tell you that this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the back here saying thank you for joining me. Really happy to have you here. There's 85,000 subscribers but only a couple hundred of you seem to show up at a time. So if you want to help me stay on YouTube, uh, do your best to watch as much of the video as possible. It's the only thing the YouTube algorithm understands. If you uh, want to be more helpful too and support me, there is a monthly drawing and you can see the 
prizes offered on the exhibition video on the end screens of the last 20 seconds of this video and all videos. And um, it'll be an exhibition video, like I said, and, and you'll see the prizes there. Also, I have Teespring clothing under the video, which is got all over print t uh, leggings and t-shirts. I have Pinterest, Twitter, and Instagram, the paint pouring recipe I mentioned. I'd love to have your thumbs up if you wouldn't mind sharing that. That would be awesome. Uh, the Amazon link also has the OXO omelet turning spatula and a whole bunch of other really cool stuff. And when you shop there, it's no added cost to you. And I'm really happy that you guys joined me. Check your notifications if you, if you turned them on and you're not getting them. Um, I am about to shift gears and potentially attempt to start posting only at midnight and only one video a day so that I can actually invest myself in doing some other things and trying to make a living because this isn't doing it for me anymore. Um, I'd like it to. If I can find a way for that to work, I will. I have a little thread of paint that's been bothering me right there. And now I'm good. And that one can go. And I love you guys. I think I mentioned that, like, oh, I don't know, 20 times. So take care. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery, reminding you that there's going to be a video mostly every day. And um, look for creative playlists on my channel. And if you're looking for PayPal or Patreon to become part of the monthly drawing, it's a $10 minimum. And you can find the icons on my channel header. And also the links are directly under the video. I said I love you guys, and I do. I'm going to zoom in for a second. I'm so glad I made up that red, and I'm so relieved to find out that it works, and it was an Anita's a metallic. Bye for now. Priscilla out. I love you guys. See you soon. Hopefully tomorrow. Hey, binge watch, would you? Thank you. Bye. Anon.